Smashing Pumpkins was formed in 1988, in Chicago, U.S. Early members of the band were Billy Corgan on vocals and guitar, Darcy Retsky on bass, James Eha on guitar, and Jimmy Chamberlain on drums. After several personnel changes, the current band member is Billy Corgan on vocals and guitars, James Eha on guitars, Jimmy Chamberlain on drums, and Jeff Schroeder on guitars. After the breakup of his gothic rock band The Marked, Billy Corgan took a job in a record store and formed the idea of a new band to be called The Smashing Pumpkins. While working there, he met guitarist James Eha. The two began writing songs together, and later performed live for the first time on July 9, 1988 at the Polish bar Chicago 21. This performance included only Corgan on bass and Eha on guitar with a drum machine. Only when bassist Darcy Retsky joined the group did Corgan switch to the guitar. Corgan and Retsky clashed about the set's merits after a Dan Reed Network performance outside the Gothic bar Chicago Avalon. Corgan claims that, it could have been any vegetable. Corgan is quoted in Randy Reisfeld's book This Is The Sound. The best of alternative rock is saying about the band's name, which he picked long before the group came together. It has nothing to do with pumpkins or Halloween. There is no associated tale, it just occurred to me. Bassist Darcy Retsky stated, Smashing is not a verb, it's an adjective in the same book by Randy Reisfeld. Not that we enjoy carving pumpkins or anything. Corgan continued, and we are no longer amused by pumpkin jokes. I enjoy the idea of shattering being forceful as well as, lovely. Smashing Pumpkins were compared to Jane's Edition, Nirvana, and Pearl Jam in the early 1990s by critics. When keyboardist Jonathan Melvoin overdosed on heroin while on tour with the Smashing Pumpkins in 1996, drummer Jimmy Chamberlain, who had been accompanying Melvoin at the time, was charged with drug possession. Later, the band fired Chamberlain for the incident. It has all but destroyed who we are and what we stand for. We have made the decision to move forwards without him, and we send him our very best. Over the next three years, replacement drummers will include Matt Walker of Filter, Matt Cameron of Soundgarden and Pearl Jam, Joey Waronker of Beck, and Kenny Aronoff of John Mellencamp. Before embarking on their The Arising tour in 1999, Smashing Pumpkins revealed that Chamberlain had been given a second chance. In September 1999, Darcy Retsky quit the group when the album, The Machines of God, was being recorded. In order to replace Darcy on the Sacred and Profane tour in support of their The Machines of God album, Smashing Pumpkins hired former Hole bassist Melissa Auf de Mauer. She made an appearance in a few of the music videos promoting the album. Smashing Pumpkins has released 11 studio albums. Jish in 1991. The album was getting platinum in US, and silver certificate in UK, and sold over 1 million copies in US. And is ranked 195th on the US Billboard 200. Billy Corgan played almost all of the instruments on first album Jish. Later on he often frustrated bandmates James Eha and Darcy Retsky by recording their parts for upcoming albums himself. I want our recordings to be perfect, an album is a permanent work of art, and to me, nothing should detract from that. Siamese Dream in 1993. The album was getting quadple platinum in US, and sold over 4 million copies in US, and ranked 10 on Billboard 200. Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness in 1995. The album was getting diamond certificate in US. The album which featured singles like, 1979, Tonight, Tonight, Zero, and, Bullet with Butterfly Wings, was their most popular one. More than 11 million copies of the massive two-disker, which spans 28 tracks over more than two hours, were sold. It is still their lone album to peak at number one on the Billboard 200. Adore in 1998. The album was getting platinum in the US, and sold over 1 million copies. In this album Corgan also wrote a song called, For Martha, in memory of his mother, 
who passed away from cancer in 1996. In honor of her, Corgan also called his record label Martha's Music. The Machines of God in 2000. The album was ranked 3 on US Billboard 200, and getting gold certificate in US. Machina Part 2. The Friends and Enemies of Modern Music in 2000. The album which was released right before the group disbanded in 2000, was only printed in 25 physical copies. Most of the vinyls were distributed to band members' friends along with instructions to freely share the tunes online. Zeitgeist in 2007. The album was getting gold certificate in US, and ranked 2 on Billboard 200. Oceania in 2012. The album was ranked 4 on US Billboard 200 and ranked 2 on US Top Rock Albums. Monuments to an Elegy in 2014. The album was ranked 33 in US Billboard 200 and ranked 6 on US Top Rock Albums. Shiny and Oh So Bright, Volume 1, LP, No Past, No Future, No Sun in 2018. The album was ranked 54 on US Billboard 200 and ranked 10 on US Top Rock Album. Seer in 2020. The album was ranked 86 on US Billboard 200 and ranked 10 on US Top Rock Albums. Autumn. A rock opera in three acts. Autumn. Act 1 album in 2022. After the Smashing Pumpkins split in 2000, Corgan went on to do background vocals on New Order's 2001 comeback album, Get Ready, and toured with the band in the US and Europe. In 2001, Corgan formed the supergroup Zwan with Jimmy Chamberlain, Matt Sweeney from Chavez, and David Pajo from Slint. However, the group was not very successful and disbanded after just one record. You'll never see Zwan, Corgan reportedly said, adding that he, detests, the other band members. I won't ever approach those people. James Eha released a solo album in 1998 while still a member of the Smashing Pumpkins, titled, Let It Come Down. The album had an acoustic tone, which was a contrast from Ihe's work with the Smashing Pumpkins, and it peaked at position 171 on the 200 billboard. While on tour with Smashing Pumpkins, he wrote songs in hotel rooms since he didn't want to bother other visitors. Look to the Sky, his second solo album, was published in 2012. James Eha also joined the A Perfect Circle when the Smashing Pumpkins broke up. Eha has so far collaborated on four albums with the group, which also features Tool frontman Maynard James Keenan and guitarist Billy Howardell. Millions of copies of the group's records have been sold as a whole. The Jimmy Chamberlain Complex was founded by Chamberlain after the split of Zwan and the Smashing Pumpkins. The group's most recent single, Paranoia, was released in April 2016. The Smashing Pumpkins had 13 Grammy nominations, and they took home two awards for Best Hard Rock Performance in 1997 and 1998. The band had a 17-date, 15-city charity North American tour in support of Adore. At each stop on the tour, the Smashing Pumpkins donated 100% of ticket sales to a local charity organization. All told, the band donated over $2.8 million to charity as a result of the tour. The band's primary songwriter, Corgan, said in a 1996 interview that he had written a staggering 56 songs the year before, some of which appeared on the band's third album, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. On December 2, 2000, Smashing Pumpkins performed their lengthy, four and a half hours, 36 song farewell show at the Metro in Chicago. The original lineup of Corgan, James Eha, Jimmy Chamberlain, and Darcy Retsky performed here for the first time. A tape of the band's debut performance there was distributed to visitors. In 2007 Smashing Pumpkins reunited after a hiatus of almost seven years, but guitarist James Eha did not participate in the reunion. Corgan and Chambulin were the reunited original lineup. The Smashing Pumpkins performed their first concert in Paris after a partial reunion. 
The band also features keyboardist Lisa Harriton, guitarist Jeff Schroeder, and bassist Ginger Reyes in addition to Corgan and Chamberlain.